Good morning. I'm Joseph, and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a rather blustery day today. Uh, yeah, in preparation for for summer, we have um, we've took the pool cover off, and uh, obviously it needs uh, it needs its first clean of the year. But where the uh, where the pool cover sits, you have these ventilation holes that are all across the pool. And um, yeah, all of the debris from autumn, the leaves and the dust in the wind and everything falls through and sinks. And uh, yeah, that's not going to do the filters any good. So, so we need to get it out. We need to get it cleaned. And normally speaking, we have um, we have like this uh, this pool cleaning robot. And um, there's Tiger. She's come to help. <laughs> and uh, the the robot it has a stand here, and you can program it and everything. Dump it in the pool, and it goes around and and it just changes its. Its course throughout the pool goes up and down the walls, cleans everything, sucks it all in like a vacuum, and um, yeah, then you then you press the button, it comes up, you pull it out of the pool, take the um, take the cartridge out, give that a clean, and then none of the uh, none of the dirt and the mess is going in the in the filters, which we have in this room here, but um, but yeah, that has gone wrong. One of the wheels has broke on it, so we have took it to the um, the 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 pool uh, suppliers and they're going to get a part and they're going to fix it for us so unfortunately this first clean this year is going to have to be by hand i'm going to have to do it um with a with a like a, a hose thing on a on a pole and it, again it's like a vacuum but that one puts it into the filters so that's a bit unfortunate but one time it's not going to hurt it i'm sure Yeah, the uh, the weather seems to have taken a turn for the worse today. It's gone um, it's gone a little bit blustery. I think we're uh, I think we're in for storms tonight. <laughs> Before I go any further, I thought I would uh, I'd just show you what I have done. You can see the part that's been cleaned there. You can see how dirty the other part is. There's, there's so much dust that settles over the uh, over the winter. And uh, yeah, without the uh, I know I'm not using it right at the moment, but without the 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 pool cleaning robot, all of that dirt is just constantly. I mean, I, I guess you have to clean like what two times a week, maybe maybe three and um yeah if you're doing that and and you're always getting this this the sand off people's feet and and dead leaves and bugs and things it, it all has to go in the filter and uh, and of course that just uh that just uh, shortens the life of the filter eventually so um so the 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 pool cleaning robot really is really is the way to go it makes it makes it such an easy job but um but yeah for now like i say that's in the that's in the uh in the pool supply shop getting repaired and uh, yeah I'm using using this manual vacuum at the moment but it's doing a good job it takes a little bit of time but it's doing a good job See now, all of the all of the deep end there is uh, is now cleaned. All of the floor in the deep end, I should say. There's still there's still some leaves on the top that I need to scoop out. You can see here, about about from just put to the left of this line here, I've I've done up to. Uh, yeah, there. <laughs> so I need to work along here now and and do the uh, do the shallow end. Not sure if you can see just how well this vacuum is picking it up, but it is, it's a it's a jolly good thing. It really picks it up quite well. I just had to grab my camera. 
I, I was just going to save a frog. It was sitting on the side here. I was cleaning around the other side. So I ran round and I tried to get him to go that way. And as I ran, he jumped, plop, and he's gone straight in there. So he's sitting right by the vacuum. So I've got to be careful that he doesn't go in that vacuum. And I'm going to kind of quickly net him out of there because that's not going to be not going to be much good for him. I have lost him. There he is. There he is down there. I've turned the turned the vacuum off now, so there's no there's no danger to him now. Grabbed a net as well, so so let's get him out. Righty go. Let's get this frog in the pond. It's going to be an easy one to catch. Nope, straight down to the deep end. Could he stop? <laughs> hey, he got him easy, nice and easy. Oh, don't jump out. Come on, Froggy. You don't want that salt water on your skin. Straight in. <laughs> Never to be seen again. Right here. Back to cleaning. <laughs> and I've just seen over there. My lovely mum's coming. <laughs> you don't mind being on film, do you? Uh, you must be hungry. Uh, have you brought me something to eat, yes. have you? Yes. <laughs> I've just um, done some lunch. I'll put this down here. Oh, what have you brought me? Brian boy. <laughs> yeah, I certainly oh. am. Are you going to film it? Oh, what, what have a, you brought just me? Just a baguette, some um, picnicky food, homemade chocolate cake, oh. and an orange. <laughs> My lovely mum. Thanks, mum. Oh. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I've just seen little Lily's, Lily's followed us down, but, but it looks like she's got a limp. What's going on there, oh, Lil? I don't know. What's wrong with your I foot? I think she tries to keep up with Mitzi sometimes. I think you're right. What's wrong with your foot, eh? Oh. You got a little bit of bramble in it or something? Doesn't feel like it. She saw your lunch coming, Joe. Yeah. Tripped over yourself for the lunch, did you? <laughs> and here's Mitzi. Hi, right, oh, Mitz. Are you trying to keep up with Mitzi? Oh. Right, well, I'll stop work for a bit and I'll have lunch oh, with my lovely oh. mum then. Oh, thanks for that, you didn't have to do that. You're very welcome. Okay, it's uh, it's Monday here. It's a little bit grey, and uh, I think it's supposed to be a bit drizzly later. And um, Monday is market day in Fundell, so um, so we thought we'd go there, have a little look around the market and stuff. Yeah, yeah, and uh, probably have a coffee, a bite to eat, and I think a haircut, and yeah, check out check out Fundell a little bit.
okay, we've just got to Fundell. We live um, we live a nice distance from Fundell, really. We live like uh, like five minutes from the town, so it's uh, or maybe ten minutes. So it's a nice a nice distance, not not too close, not too far. But it's um it's a nice town. It's got it's got pretty much everything. Yeah. Everything you could want. It's got all little cafes and restaurants and all that sort of thing and yeah, all the different shops and agricultural shops and butchers and, and all of that sort of thing. So it's a nice town. We're advocates of fun now, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of different stalls on this uh, on this weekly market. They've got looks like here tea towels and all of that sort of thing, clothing and things down there. And here, this is more this is more my sort of section. You've got the uh, the vegetable plants and flowers and and trees and livestock and all of that sort of thing. Look at all these beautiful flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. And here are all of the little transplant plugs, vegetables and whatnot, cabbages and stuff. Look at all of that. <laughs> and here we've got the livestock section. Looks like some nice, nice big geese over there at the back. Look at those. My chicken nose trying to make a trying to make a run for it. <laughs> I just saw those, yeah, Mariana just pointed out them, uh, them geese over there. Big geese, big geese. There they go, Hong Kong. <laughs> so here you've got the uh, the tool section and all these little lovely wooden bits and bobs here. Look at them wooden spoons, absolutely gorgeous. Look at the weather cock there, it looks just like my one. <laughs> Look at these beautiful cauldrons and things here. Look at those. Absolutely stunning. Stick those on a campfire, very nice. So here's the uh, the Avenida, the main avenue in Fundel. We've got the uh, the town hall here. The banks and restaurants are all down these these roads here. There's another bank there, <laughs> Caixa Geral. Very very nice town. Bicycle rental here. <laughs> and a lovely garden in the front of the town hall there. And going up here is more like the, the old quarter to the town. Lots of beautiful old buildings. So here we are now just coming up to the uh, to the barber shop that we use. And as you can see, I haven't I haven't paid him a visit for a little while due to uh, due to the pandemic and, and everything. But yeah, so gonna be glad to shed a couple of kilos of hair, I think. <laughs> okay, so we've just come out of the uh, out of the barber shop, and uh, the barber told me he was gonna cut my hair by weight because it had gotten so long. <laughs> but um, yeah, so now we're gonna um, now we're gonna go and have a proper look around the market. Earlier we uh, we cut through the market and done a little bit of filming, but um, but yeah, now we're going to go and have a proper look and and see what's what. Ah, oh, Mariana's holding my hand. <laughs> Anyone would think you love me, Mariana. Ah, uh, sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here's the market. 
looks like um looks like stalls are starting to pack up now it's half 12 so i guess we're uh guess we're a little bit late but at least we got a bit of a look at it earlier normally there's all wicker baskets here there's still some over the back over there loads of different knives and things for sale here clothing belts and different t-shirts and things yeah so i think we're uh we're just coming coming into the market at like the uh packing up time the end so i think the um the food section over there the food hall that should be open the parasa so let's go and have a go and have a little look at that quickly before they before they all shut up com completely i reckon next week we'll come and get some come and get some plugs flowers. should we have a look at the flowers yeah come on then are you getting some flowers mariana no but you smell good flowers they smell nice yeah <laughs> so yeah the upstairs section is all um the butchers and fish and cheese and uh the bakers the downstairs section here is uh, is pretty much all of the green grocer section all of the fruit and veg Let's get some cheese. Oh, I'll on the. Vais vais comprar uma coisa, Mariana? Tu querias queijo, não é? Queijo, sim. Escolhe tu. So the gentleman here is just explaining that um, we can get um, uh, goat's cheese, sheep's cheese, cow's cheese, or a mixture. This one here. Six euros a unit. This one here is uh, is from Covilha, so that's not too far away. It's just the uh, just the next town. Solheira is in there. Solheira. Solheira has a nice cheese. So yeah, but it's up to you, Mariana. Whichever whichever one you want. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. Obrigada. Obrigado. Nada. nada. So you got some cheeses that you like there, Mariana? Yeah. Perfect. We'll try them tonight with maybe maybe a glass of wine or something. Maybe. Sounds good to me. Look at all of these uh, these beautiful presentos here. Everything here is from the uh, is from the region. Marvelloso, marvelloso, eh? Carne salgada. Carne salgada, salted pork here. Eh, eh, porco, no? Eh? Salted pork, yeah. Entre miada. Entre miada, so pork belly, salted pork belly. Absolutely fantastic. É muito bom para a sopa e para comer assim. Para a sopa? Okay, so very nice. Okay. Ah, perfeito. So you, so you wash the uh, you wash the pork. You get all of that salt off. You soak it and get the salt off, and then you can um, you can have that inside a soup or something. And yeah, very nice, very nice. Ah, uh, a card. Thank you very much. It's, it's Carla. Obrigada, Carla. Carla e David. Carla and David. Ah, uh, thank you very much, Carla. Thank you very much, David. Muito obrigado. Até próxima. Até próxima. Bom dia. And there's her cheese is there. Muito obrigado. Até logo. So this is a this is a fantastic shop. They gave us a card there. It's Charcuteria a Tradição Beira. And all of the products are regional. So yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Até logo. <laughs> Okay, so we've got our uh, our cheeses now. We're gonna have them later. 
and now we're now we're just walking past the uh, the church of Fundao. Look at that building, absolutely gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. And now we're going to go for a uh, for a coffee somewhere and a bite to eat, Mariana. Yeah. Do you fancy a cake? Yeah. Let's go for a coffee and a cake. So here is a little coffee shop that we use all the time, Alma Cafe, Alma Pastelaria. It's a little baker's. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it's one of our favourite coffee shops here in Fundao. And hola, bon dia, Elena. Como está? Tudo bem? Tudo bem? <laughs> so she's got all of these beautiful cakes here. These are all these are all the uh, the savoury ones here. So look at that chorizo rolls and pizza rolls and croissants. Absolutely gorgeous. And over this side. This is my favourite side, Mariana. I don't know about you. This is the uh, this is the sweet section here. So you've got, look at those little strawberry tarts and iced eclairs there and coffee cakes and oh, absolutely gorgeous. Little meringues and cookies. Beautiful. What are you gonna have, Mariana? Uh, I will have a croissant. Croissant. Mm -hmm. I have a croissant today. And uh, galau. Galau? Yeah. Okay. So what is a galau for anyone watching at home that might not know? It's a coffee with milk together. Yeah, it's it's basically it's like um it's the Portuguese equivalent of a latte, I think. Yeah. So so yeah. So that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be what I order. I'm gonna have a latte. And um I'm not sure what I think I'm gonna go for one of those one of those oyster clairs there. They look they look jolly good to me. Look at that beautiful tree there, absolutely gorgeous. Croissant misto com manteiga e um croissant Nutella e prensado. Prensado. Os dois. Sim. E um galão. Ok, perfeito. Perfeito. So that's a, so that's a, a, a ham and cheese croissant. Yeah. And, and a Nutella croissant. Yes. And you're going to have them like toasted. Is yes. that what I heard you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Elena, eu, eu posso ter uma uma galão, por favor, mm -hmm. e um, um desses eclairs. Um eclairs. Bom dia. Perfeita. Obrigado. Vanilla. So that's a, uh, a vanilla, a clair and a, uh, and a latte. Are you having a latte? Yeah. Latte. Perfect. Muito obrigado. Obrigado, Helena. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado. Obrigada. Obrigada. Mariana, não esqueça de tirar a tua máscara antes de beber o café. <laughs> Don't forget to take your mask off before you have that coffee. <laughs> Look at these. So these are these are a, a galão, um galão. Yeah. And uh, a galão is uh, basically the Portuguese equivalent of a um, of a latte. It's um, it's like a, a shot of espresso with some like steamed milk, I think, and yeah. then uh, and yeah. a little bit a little bit frothy on the top. Yeah. So there's um, there's a couple of ways that you can order a, a, a coffee in Portuguese. So you can you can either ask for a galão, which, like I say, is the latte equivalent. You can ask for a, a meia de leite, which is, uh, I, I guess, like a flat white. It's pretty much a flat white. Yeah. You can ask for a café, which literally translates to coffee, and that would be a shot of espresso. Yeah. Or you can ask for a, um, a café cheio, café yeah. cheio, Mariana, yeah, which would a... be which would be like a what like a a double shot espresso, yeah. a double espresso. What, what other coffees are there? Pingado? A pingado is like a, um, I think in English we would call it a, a, a um, uh, an espresso macchiato. Yeah. So it's like a, like a, a drop of milk in an espresso. Yeah, yeah. Just but yeah, they're pretty much, they're pretty much all of the, um, all of the coffees in, in Portugal. Very nice. Good? Yeah. Lovely. It's hot, but it's good. Hot but good. Obrigada. Muito obrigado, Obrigada. 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 Obrigada.
I think that's a, a mint and chocolate ice cream there. Looks jolly good to me. Beautiful. Look at all those smashing flavours there. Right, yeah, you've just finished. You've got, you've got a spare hand now, Anna, sorry. <laughs> Super. And now we are going to um, we're going to get a couple of a couple of cakes in a box here and take them home for everyone. Muito obrigado, Elena. Muito obrigado. Sim. Which one? Was it this one, Mariana? Yeah. Can I have two? We had a, we had a couple of these for um, last last week. We a couple of these for uh, for our little nephew George. So he really liked them. So we're going to get him a couple more of those. <laughs> Father's gonna get a, a strawberry tart. I guess that's for mum, is it? Let's see. Uh, yes. <laughs> you know what the cake is? You know what the cake is? No, I'm okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, tell. Obrigado. Até logo. Até logo. They've got um, they've got a thing on the wall here that says if there's stones on your path. Save them all, and one day you'll build a castle. I really like that, that's really nice. Obrigado, Lena. Até logo. So there's a, uh, there's a statue here, and this is Antonio Paluru. And he is the, um, the founder of the, of the local newspaper. And he's sitting here because, if I can turn around, he's sitting here because he is staring at his shop over there that's the uh the newspaper the newspaper building over there so he's he's always sat looking at looking at his uh looking at his newspaper press radio we've finished at the market we're um we're going back to the back to the car now and then we're going to go home we uh we had a nice morning it's been really nice um yeah we had a nice coffee got our hair cut yeah <laughs> now we're gonna go home and have some uh have some cheese and some wine i think It's a uh, it's a, a a really drizzly afternoon, and uh, <laughs> what better thing to do than go for a walk without a coat? <laughs> I was caught off guard, but um, yeah, I, I thought I'd uh, thought I'd bring my camera down to this uh, to this gorgeous meadow here. It's um, it's a bit of a secret spot, to be honest. It's it's not too far from my house. Um, I can walk down here in, in probably about 10 minutes, 15 minutes in the rain, and um, yeah, it's just. It's a gorgeous place. It's uh, it's a bit too wet today, but normally, normally this is uh, this is one of my favourite fishing spots. It's uh, it's a really nice trout river. Um, yeah, I tell you what, there's there's, um, there's a few of my neighbours that that hunt wild boar here as well because we're on the Gardunia Mountain here. We're tucked away in the middle of nowhere and. There's all this, all this forestry and all these gorgeous wildflowers here, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's a special little place here. It's really nice, and uh, yeah, like I say, in the summer, it's just, look at this. Take a look at this. It is just an amazing space to go, to go trout fishing. Jump up this wall here, and look at this. 
So it's quite shallow here, but you get these, um, these big stormy rainy days and they push the lagoons of these trouts down the, down the waterfall and then they end up getting themselves stuck. So they end up sitting in these pools and eating all of the flies and, and smaller fish and everything that come down the, uh, that come down the waterfall there and they end up becoming nice sized nice size trout so you can you can catch one or two in there on a on a lucky day and and yeah have a nice little barbecue next to the next to the stream ideally not on a not on a wet day like today though but yeah <laughs> so there's this uh, this little hidey hole in the rocks here and that's for uh, for someone to sit have their gun pointed for the wild boar that are going to come that are going to come down and get a drink at night so this is, a, this is a fantastic spot, like I say, a fantastic spot for trout. So on a, on a nicer day, I'll bring the rod down here and we'll set up there or something or, or on this bank here and we'll, we'll stick a nice big worm on there and we'll cast in and yeah, hopefully have a nice little, a nice little trout barbecue next to the river. But yeah, it's gonna need to warm up a little bit for that. <laughs> or, or I'll need to bring a coat, one or, one or the other. Look at this spot here. And you can see, you can see it is actually, it is rather shallow. It's a little bit deeper here, and then it goes shallow in the middle where all of the silt has built up. And then over there, you can see it's a bit deeper. But all of the, uh, all of the trout would get washed downstream on a day like today. And they would find themselves getting stuck for a while in this lagoon here. So this is probably where we're going to, um, going to fish from, just on this edge here, uh, fishing, fishing down the waterfall. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's actually slap bang in the middle of trout fishing season right now. It's, uh, it's the 1st of March to the 31st of July, if I remember right. And uh, yeah, we're probably gonna do a bit of, uh, a bit of spinning for the, uh, for the brown trout that live in here. Yeah, we'll probably, we'll probably come in the next few days and, and yeah, and do that in, a, in an upcoming episode, I think, yeah. <laughs> if, the, uh, if the weather allows. But yeah, I think we'll have to, uh, we'll have to wait and see if we can get a slightly bit of a better day for that, but yeah. <laughs> Here you can see, right by, the, right by the water's edge there, you can see there's been some there's been some wild boar around here so so yeah i guess they're all living up in these up in these forests i mean they are everywhere though here in central portugal yeah you're, you're hard pushed not to find a bit of forest with uh with a few wild boar in it but look at this gorgeous little spot if i'd have brought a coat i probably would have stayed a bit longer <laughs>